Welcome Aquarius. This is going to be your mid-July love reading. Hope everybody is doing well. If you are new, welcome. Okay, so there is some there is a need for self-awareness. Somebody here can be very insensitive, kind of like closed-minded. Um, I, I really don't know who this may be, but it's Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Again, the signs really don't matter. Uh, but the energy of this King of Cups could be very drama unstable, withdrawn, triggered easily, a bit manipulative, not really like expressing how they really feel. Um, and it's because there's a need for self-awareness. There's something here that this person is needing to have some type of an awakening about something as to why they may be operating like this or feeling this way. Sorry, guys. All right, let's see. We have the lovers and the seven of cups. There's something I feel that you may be seeing very clearly about, um, but something's aligning here, okay? Something's aligning for you. I do feel is that there is a strong connection, and but you're seeing clear within something. And there is a sense of closing out a chapter, completing a cycle, because there's a lot of delays in development or progress or something like that. And it's like you have this inner knowing with the high priestess energy as you see here and the high priestess is feeling like something is going in the wrong direction something's feeling stuck here so let's go ahead and see what is going on what's coming through for you guys here aquarius hangman it looks like you may be in surrendering mode as you may be like again with the world closing out a chapter with somebody but this is more of pausing reflecting um, before making any decisions but it's like it's like making wise decisions for yourself six of pentacles is something's coming in with that six of pentacles with this with somebody here we're going to go ahead and clarify um there's the devil the challenge is the devil and that's you know unfortunate because the devil is kind of like stopping this person's growth or their their way of thinking or this could be unhealthy habits addictions or like sabotaging things being manipulative uh, however the devil is uh you know it's a very destructive energy um so it's like something has a hold over this person okay we have the hermit in the past and we have the chariot so this person or someone here I don't think somebody's wanting to have a new beginning with you. We have the Ten of Pentacles. That's beautiful. And the Nine of Wands. There's a lot of perseverance here. We do have the Ace of Wands with the Four of Swords. There's a sense of taking a break or a sense of a period of disconnect. And there's a want of inspiration or there's like a feeling of wanting more like out of life or wanting more here for some again take what resonates but i do want to clarify because i am seeing that something is coming in and something here is like a new beginning is if somebody wants a new beginning okay it looks like somebody's wanting to apologize or offer you something here they're having a lot of self-doubts. They're feeling weak at this time. Hmm. You're on this like very spiritual path though. Like you, you could be a spiritual teacher for some of you guys. Very wise individual. Like holding on to your faith even. Overcoming a lot in your life. I feel like you're coming in very wise. Like here. And this person wants to offer you something. A page of cups. Yeah. I feel like you may be going in a new direction. Usually the chari chariot means like you could be going in a new direction. More towards the path of victory. It's like you're on your way to success. Because you're on your, your path of success here. Especially the Hierophant represents you're on the right path. Okay. But during like, uh, like on your way to that path, there could be some obstacles, but it's like, it's not going to straight, like take you away from what is yours. Basically. What is the devil? Very passionate, lusty type of energy. Hmm. Could be a lot of chemistry or like a connection in some way. <laughs> 
Somebody here is reevaluating the whole situation. They're feeling kind of rejected. It feels like that's why this person kind of wants to like come in and either apologize or address something here or like talk to you about something. But the challenge is the devil. So there's like something here that the somebody needs to break away from to start seeing clearly. Mm. Eight of Wands, delays in communication, delays in progress. In the past, it feels like there was a withdrawal. Nine of Wands, okay. Maybe hard to trust somebody here. Let's get the chariot. This is on their mind. Their mind is the chariot. Nine of Swords, okay. So they are like stressing out over here in their head. It's like you're moving forward. Like they see you just taking off in the chariot, but they want to be on that chariot with you, I feel. But there's like something here that they're in their head about. Okay. Um, yeah, it's like they want this new beginning with you here. They really do. They're having a lot of self-doubt. They're having a lot of, like they're feeling weak. They're feeling stagnant. Especially, again, with that Nine of Swords energy, there's just a lot of anxiety, paranoia, even fear. There's like a lot of worry here. And then we have, in the near future, we have the King of Wands. And then the Knight of Wands. Something's coming in pretty fast. Could be, again, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, but it does look like somebody wants to come into your energy. Somebody wants to work on this. Somebody wants long term with you with that King of Wands, Knight of Wands. This is a fast pursuit. They're coming in fast. And it feels like they want like longevity, like long, long like the law they want. They're like seeing the you in their future. They want to be in your in your life. And then we do have the Knight of Wands, which is all about perseverance. Page of Pentacles, yeah, it's like an offer of some type of commitment or promise. They're very much attracted to you here. We have the King of Wands. You, you guys can be like entrepreneurs or maybe very adventurous or something like that for some, but there is a sense of attraction. There's a sense of, you know, persevering, things like possibly even somebody wanting to apologize. Uh, but this devil is here. And again, that is the challenge is to break free and to stay away from whatever that devil is, or like to kind of break the chains and close out a chapter and start something new. Okay. It's like closing out a chapter in a situation in your life or in this person's life, but it does feel like there is somebody that's very determined to commit in some way or commit to the, what their promises or what their offer is. Like they don't, they don't want whoever this may be they're just very attracted to you here and it feels like they're wanting they're wanting you for the long term but there could have been some separation here a period of separation and now they're coming in we do have that eight of pentacles with the queen of swords okay so this is you you guys could be working things out and like having honest conversations Eight of Swords, Three of Swords, okay, Five of Pentacles. So it's like with this Queen of Swords and the Eight of Swords, it's like something you're seeing clearly about, okay? And this could be like healing and releasing something here too. But let's go ahead and get the Love Oracles because I'm very curious. The, everything else looks really good. It's just this devil and it feels like somebody does not want you to take off in life without them because it's like this is what's keeping them you know, from, you know, doing whatever it is that's, that's keeping them like very sensitive, right? Or like triggered in some way or like unstable. Social media, spying, online dating, reminiscing, networking. So something about social media could be DMs, messages, however, but someone is feeling like they're getting like, like hidden messages. Um, they're also seeing synchronicity. Somebody's name could start with like a B. We do have like a new love. Like somebody could be fearing that you have a new love. They don't want you to be with anybody else. That's what I'm getting. Um, or they could be spying, thinking that you're with somebody. Um, but yeah, I feel like this is what is kind of like bringing change. Like back, like, you know, because there's things that has been unfinished. Like th there's have been back and forth energy 
you know, it's over, it's not over, I'll fix it, you know, I don't, you know, and then it doesn't get fixed. So something needs to change and something's like triggering this person because it's here. But it's like, it has to be activated for it to act, for this person to actually be aware and to change certain things to come in your life and to work things out. I mean, I feel that the only thing is, is that this devil needs to be completely gone, whatever that may be. Because it's, it's uh, holding somebody back. So I do see, let's get to the confessions. person needs time and our connection was toxic I'm not good enough for you I feel like this person maybe talked to themselves very negatively um they're very passionate they're very attracted to you though there's a lot of chemistry they feel for you but there's like a sense of like something happens to this person or sees something or it's like it comes to a point where this person just does not want their thinking of you and they want to work on things they want to have a new beginning with you and it does look like there is a lot like what, what's happening is like there's a perseverance in the connection for some um, that's where the reading is going again tarot can change at any time but it's like something is something is being like how do you say it something needs to be awakened within this person <coughs> excuse me or the situation however so let's go ahead and grab some advice I always do that sorry guys change your mindset the spirit wants you to change your mindset no blame I'm just going to grab those cards. An improvement in your lifestyle will take place sooner than you originally expected. Okay. It's not about winning. Be conservative. I can never say that word. And then it says, to get past jealousy, you must love in a detached way. You are no longer able to hold back. So there is a sense of someone coming towards you, though, here. Hmm. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab a um, Moonology card. Spirit is saying, be proud of yourself. Last quarter moon in Taurus. And unleash your kindest self here. Okay. First quarter moon in Capricorn. And then... Let's grab a love message for you guys. We have healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship healed this very moment. And then it says, let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. And then when it comes to the matter of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of love and life. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here for you, Aquarius. I hope this message helped. I hope it brought clarity. And if it did or helped in any way, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys very soon. God bless.